Hey guys, Pikachu here, and welcome to episode 2 of Wall of Weird. Now, uh, I'll probably post an annotation on the first episode in case you missed that, but uh, until then, I think we should just uh, get started on some of the weird items. Now, and this one is probably going to be the weirdest episode yet, because one of the items is probably going to be the one of the weirdest in this episode. So, sh first we have the shrub. And of course, this may look like an ordinary dead bush. However, as see, you can as you can see, it's named Shrub as when I roll my cursor over it. And no, I didn't rename it because it's not in italics. Like I will give you an example if I were to rename this dead bush. Now, if I place an anvil here and try to rename this dead bush to, let's say, derp. As you can see, it's in italics, so that which emphasizes that I renamed it. But this, this is not in italics, so this is like legitimately obtained. And on top of that, there's dead bush, shrub, dead bush, shrub, dead bush, shrub. Blah. Okay, so I'm actually gonna keep that out in case there's some difference between it. Okay, so maybe uh, shrubs can. I can't put it on sand? What about the dead bush? Oh, so apparently shrub can't be placed on sand. Get rid of that. Then, do I just... What? You can place it not on... Hold on, let me just... Sand. Day. You can, you can place it on grass, and it'll work, actually? Can I place it on... Nope, okay, so I can't place it on leaves. How about wool? No. Oh, that is so weird. Uh, can I place it on gravel? No. Stone? No. Mm. Dirt? Yeah, I can place it on grassless dirt. Okay, so, uh... Mmm... Can I put it on where is it? Clay. Can I put it on clay? No. Okay, so it can only be placed on grass blocks and dirt. I don't even know what the purpose of this is, other than just being a shrub. Well what's the purpose what's the purpose of a dead bush either? I don't know. The next update they should make it so they will just grow leafless trees or something. Okay, so next one right right we have right here is the uh, is nothing in the when you roll your cursor over it. It looks like a little uh, part of the piston that pushes out except uh whenever I try to place it it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Maybe if I uh attach it to cobblestone. No, that's not working. Um, maybe if I put a piston like this, and then, no, like this, and then, hmm, this is weird. I am not liking this. This, what? What is the purpose of this? Just... Uh, what? What is the purpose of this block that I cannot place down? It, this is ridiculous. Why is this even in the game? Why? 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 You have such a sad existence, don't you? Okay, <laughs> now that that's done, here we have the Piston Head 2. Now, I'm not sure if this does anything either, except that I'm assuming it does because it was available through a different give ID. Even though it doesn't look that different, I'm assuming it does something. 
because it if it's available through another give ID, there's got to be a purpose for it. Unless this is like some sort of failed block that was put under production for like a couple days. And then they realized it couldn't work, so that's just, just my assumption. Maybe it has to be a sticky piston? Shut up, creepy music. You have to... There's something about this piston frame that I'm supposed to take note of? Hey, Creeper. Hey, Creeper, do you know what this... Do you know what this is about? Do you know what... Do you know what this is about? Yeah, neither do I. That's why I'm asking you. Bit. Screw you. Bit. This is a funeral gift. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it had to be done. Okay, so, uh, if you have any suggestions on what this thing actually does, could you please, uh, put in the comments below? That would be awesome. And if it doesn't work, I'm sorry, but I, I really do, I really would like to see what this thing does, because this, oh my god, uh, I'm dying to see what this thing does. Okay, so, that was the piston head. Uh, what was up with the bucket, now next we have the double stone slab, and this is basically just, well, what it is, like, this is a double stone slab, and as you can see, I put two stone slabs on top of each other and place this, and they look exactly the same. And I think if you, uh, I think if you actually use the change the data value for it I think that actually changes what kind of slabs you'll get yeah so it said stand, stand stone, said bleh, sandstone slab but it looks like normal sandstone because that's what it'll look like so uh yeah stone slab all right Wait, what happens if I uh, break this in survival? Will I still get the double slab? Game mode. I'm a, tor I'm a terrible typist. Okay, so what happens if I... Uh, did I just... Hold on. Game rule. Do tile drops. Rule. Okay, so let's see what this thing actually does. Nope. Okay, so it still gives you uh two stone slabs. Man, why did I put that game rule on? I don't know. Okay, so yeah, double stone slab. And finally, we have the fire block. And the fire, it's basically like putting down fire as if it's a building material and no this is not not like a flint and steel or something and as you can see it's moving in my hand and looks totally awesome when I'm carrying it looks like I'm just about to throw a fireball that that actually looks pretty cool <laughs> okay so you could that would be pretty cool if you're doing like a a battle machinima and you're just having someone throw a fireball and you could just be you know, like Yo, what's up? I have a fireball. Foosh. So, yeah, that's that sounds pretty cool. So, fire. Um. Oh, uh, I'm gonna do something with the static water I found last episode. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, if this works, it's this is actually gonna be pretty amazing if this actually works. Okay, so I'm gonna need nether rack. I'm gonna laugh so hard if this actually works. Hold on. I'll need a bucket just in case. Now put fire, water, bit. But you didn't receive a block update. No, you didn't. You didn't receive a block update. No, you didn't. Oh, come on. You did not receive a block update. I don't remember you. This is not working. You're not supposed to flow downward. Oh. Am I using the wrong what kind of water? 
I think I'm. I think I was using the wrong kind of water. Okay, it doesn't really say a difference on what kind of water you're using. It just says water. See, there we go. Okay. Eh. Okay. Forgot. Need to put down the fire first, and then the water. Then that, that, and that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Underwater fire. Oh my god. I have discovered how to... Make underwater fire. Well, it was good while it lasted. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was so awesome though. It's like you just see fire being surrounded in water and it doesn't go out. That That's like mind blowing, guys. We've discovered how to make submerged fire for like a couple seconds. Until something glitches out in the water. Just... Wait, is it because I stepped in it? Nope, okay, so it's still static water if I step in it. Yeesh, that was so cool! Okay, so anyways, guys, this has been episode 2 of Wall of Weird. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'd love that. And spread the word about my channel, too. I'd love that as well. And so, yeah. And if you like this series, let me know in the comments below. And if you want me to do any further experiments with these, uh, also let me know that in the comments below. Until then, this is Pikachu signing off.